In this video, the master instructors from Best Incorporated will demonstrate the process used to complete the installation of surface mount chip components. With all component installation procedures, the first step is to thoroughly clean the board. Use a lint-free cloth and a cleaning solvent to wipe away any debris, residues, or surface oxides from the board. Carefully remove the component from its protective packaging and place it in the work area. The component seen here is a 1206 size chip capacitor. It does not have a specific orientation or electrical polarity in relation to the circuit in which it is being installed. When referring to chip components, the numerical value stated is the dimensions of the component. In this case, a 1206 component is 0.12 inches long and 0.06 inches wide. Apply flux to the component and board land to help facilitate the solder connection. Most chip components have a coating of solder applied to the terminations by the component manufacturer. This tinning layer in combination with the added flux should be enough to temporarily hold the component in place. Use the appropriately sized soldering iron tip to heat the land and the component termination. The resulting temporary hold is referred to as a dry tack. Be sure to keep track of which component termination has been tacked. Reposition the board so that there is access to the termination of the component that was not tacked. Apply flux to the component and board land. Position the solder wire so that the wire is the full width of the land. Apply the soldering iron so that it contacts the solder, the termination of the component, and the land at the same time. Heating both the land and the termination will ensure proper solder flow to both surfaces. Reposition the board again to access the remaining termination. Repeat the soldering process, placing the solder across the full width of the land, and then contact the land and the termination with the soldering iron. Clean the area to remove any unactivated flux or other residues. Inspect the connections according to the IPCA 610 standard. The IPCA 610 groups electronic assemblies into three classes. These classes are based on the intended end-use environment for the assembly. Class 1, General Electronic Products, are those where the major requirement is that the assembly is functional. Class 2, Dedicated Service Products, are assemblies where continued performance and extended life are desired, but not critical. Typically, the end-use environment would not cause failures. Class 3, High performance or harsh environment products are assemblies in which high performance and performance on demand are critical. Downtime cannot be tolerated or the extreme environment may be uncommonly harsh. IPC Class 3 criteria for high reliability and harsh environment assemblies states that the soldered connection must have, as a minimum, an end joint at least 75% the width of the lend or termination, whichever is less. The soldered connection must be soldered a minimum of 25% of the height of the termination face on the end of the component, and there must be solder wetting along the bottom side edge of the component termination. As a maximum, the solder can extend onto the top metallization area of the termination, however, it may not touch the top of the body of the component. The installation process for various sizes of chip components is similar, with minor differences for the smaller chip components. As always, the process begins with cleaning the worksite. Use a cleaning solvent and lint-free cloth to remove any debris, residue, or oxides. Remove the component from the protective package and place it on the worksite. The component used in this demonstration is an 0402 sized component. These small components transfer heat quickly from one end of the component to the other. This may cause both ends of the component to heat at the same time. Align the component with the lands and apply flux. Holding the component in place, apply a small amount of solder to the solder iron tip and then apply that solder to one termination and land. Reposition the board to access the remaining termination and land. Flux the area, then using a thin diameter solder, quickly solder the attachment between the component and the land. 
Allow the assembly to cool and then clean the area. Inspect the component according to the IPCA 610 standard. Visit and follow us on our YouTube channel, Soldering Geek, for more videos. For training classes, supplies, and more, visit our website, www.solder.net.